Okay, um, this is uh, some, uh, it appears to be early Indian settlements that are on the east coast of the United States and this uh, particular area is just uh, on the coast of New Jersey and, and, and it's very extensive. There's, it's not just this little spot. Now, Barnegat Lighthouse is right here and you can see we're right on the coast of New Jersey. Now, it runs all the way up and down the coast though. There's a lot of this uh, particular occupation apparently um, long before we were here. Uh, and that was recorded by the um, by the early Spanish. Now, again, here we are at um, the lighthouse, and we're going to go inland over here. This is a nice. Uh, this spot here is very, very dense, and it's and I think I understand what was going on here. Now, if you look at all of these little structures here, now they're either houses or they were uh, like a little ponds and little water spots where the people living in high, very densely packed in here would have been able to make a little fish or whatever they could have for dinner they could go in and grab some uh, that type of thing now they were all had access to the major waterways and uh, then then you had these little settlements in here and then as you come out you notice that there's areas here that don't have these little settlement things and I believe those were where they did their their crops uh, and then as you go in to the areas where they would be easily access those by the water you find that it's densely something dense is going on there I don't know it looks to me like these are little ponds and the people would have had been living like in an area here and here you can see where the, the things were are, are compacted and where they might have walked out to the water and how all these cuts give them little places they might have pushed the, the little fish down into here and caught them or over in here I, I don't know what they were doing but there seems to be some rationale to this and as you can see over here Hayward Oyster Pond densely densely packed with whatever those things are now they're not bogs I can tell you that because bogs would be wide open these are little little cuts I believe that were made to maybe have water in here for every little family that was living in here and a couple little fish in their little ponds now as you move closer to the ocean uh, at that particular time it, it appears that the the better property was down here and they had bigger bigger lots and you can see all the where they would walk and, and, and they might have been living in this area and there's a lot of activity in, in these areas but they are much bigger plots of land with much less development in them you know probably for the well off of the uh, of the Indians so that I mean that's all I can assume and you can see that every one of them has virtual access to the water in one, in one manner or another and uh, and it is densely densely populated and DeSoto said when he came to the Americas that they were living cheek by jowl and I can go along with that it certainly appears to be and that's all I have to say about it if, and I'm trying to get through to people down in New Jersey the Historical Society and, uh, and, and I have a particular person that I'm in con well I'm trying to get in contact with uh, and if anybody can help to shed light on this um, my um, please leave a, a note on the on the video and uh, I'll, I'd love to hear from somebody that has any other knowledge than I presented here about it because I, I don't know anything else about this and and this is what we do we search these unknown things and try to discover what the earth has to offer and as a matter of fact um, mudfossils.com is our website and that has DNA proven evidence of uh, giant human beings and it needs to be uh, looked at by academia and uh, that they're having a hard time with this so anybody that can help to shed light on our real past and our real history uh, that really is my goal thank you